OpenAI just launched this new feature called ChatGPT Pulse, and I think it's part of what they mentioned a few days ago or what Sam Altman mentioned a few days ago where they're going to be releasing new features in the coming weeks, initially for pro users and then available for plus users. But some of these features are going to cost an additional fee because they have an additional amount of compute. And so I don't know what they are, but the one they have released most recently is ChatGPT Pulse. And ChatGPT Pulse is a mobile only for now pro user preview that compiles a once a day briefing from your recent chats and safe memories. Optionally, Gmail, Google Calendar, and it shows you visual cards that you can scan or open. You can curate tomorrow's focus and connectors are off by default. And so the idea is to shift ChatGPT from active answers to a proactive assistant. And that sounds great on the surface, but I'm not sure if I need ChatGPT to help me live life. Now, it can be productive if you narrow the focus down to a specific area of life like work or business to just help you stay focused. But when you look at the overall purpose of this situation, it reminds me of the Apple journaling app. And one thing when the Apple journaling app came out, whenever I would go different places and I would get back home, the journaling app would make suggestions like, do you want to journal about visiting the hospital? And I'm like, wait a minute, I just went to the hospital to visit a family member and now I'm getting a notification asking me if I want to journal about it. And it just felt like a complete violation of my privacy because I didn't want to use the app. I believe I turned the location settings for the app off when I first saw it, but I was still getting these notifications. And so it's very strange that OpenAI is releasing this and then they're positioning it like something people are going to like. And some people are excited about it and I'm a little confused about it. And so when we look at his tweet about this from yesterday, it says it performs super well if you tell ChatGPT more about what's important to you. Or in other words, if you open up and you share more private and personal details about your life, your personality and everything else, then it's going to work better. The more data, the better the data, the more personal the data, the better it's going to work. But at what cost? So does it look cool to have this summary of different things based on the chats that kind of show me or remind me of what I was working on yesterday or what I've been working on over the last few weeks? This sounds pretty cool. And having a personal assistant that knows me well and can work with me better is absolutely great. But what I choose to do is to actually store all of my personal information on my own virtual private server with hosting. And then I use a special command inside of my projects that allows ChatGPT to go and read that file and then update its own memory and have the conversation with me based on the contents of that memory without storing anything on OpenAI's server. And then on top of that, this is restricted to a very narrow project with project only memory so that it's not spread out across the entire account. But let me know what you guys think about ChatGPT Pulse and the direction that people are seeming to take with AI where we're just giving away so much personal information. And if you want to know exactly how I use projects and how I built my own memory system that keeps all of my information private, then make sure you check out this next video.